Hello my Taurus, welcome to Into the Heart Space with Julie Wolfram. I'm going to give you my loving guidance for August of 2016. Um, I will be using two different decks. The first one I will be using is the Illuminated Tarot by Carol Hertzer. I will um, attach her website. She has a beautiful deck. Um, so if you'd like to get one of your own, I will definitely link that. And then the second one is called the Mother's Wisdom Deck uh, by Nikki Duarte and Elizabeth Marglin. Also a lovely deck. We'll pull a card from that at the end just to give um, a little added guidance to our reading. So. I already pre-shuffled, but I love to shuffle on the camera so you can see that this is all divinely guided. So what is the message for August 2016 for Taurus? Taurus, what is the message that needs to come across for you? with the highest of light, of love and joy. What guidance do you need for August 2016? What is the message? Let's see here. Let's do that one more time. All right, three piles. Let's see. One, two, three. Fill in this one. Okay. Let's see what we have. Five of Swords, mm, Aries got that. Queen of Swords, Seven of Swords, Seven of Discs, Five of Wands, Four of Swords, Five of Cups, Queen of Wands, Three of Cups, and page of wands and then the foundation of it all at the bottom of the deck is the four of cups so let me just sit with this for a second and see what energy comes from it hmm. It seems like you're in the midst of a struggle. Um, it's, it seems like it's a, a mostly a mental struggle, seeing as it's a Five of Swords. Um, and that there's a good chance that you're going to become the victor, but at what cost? Are you going to lose friendships over it? Are you going to maybe even lose your job or just, you know, your dignity in a way? Um... And, and the Queen of Swords is covering covering you, so I feel like this is this is a message of um, make sure what you do, even though if you you need to slice and dice, do it with honesty and clarity and with the best intentions at hand. Um, this could also um, represent since this is a sword um, an air sign so that could be a Gemini Libra or Aquarius um, that is in the midst with you that is um, could be going against you in a way so that it could be an air sign once again Gemini Libra Aquarius or maybe um, you know if that's one of your rising signs a conflicting idea within you um, But I, I take this as um, a sign of caution of, and, and I, I, it could possibly be that somebody is that, that voice of caution 
an air sign saying, hey, um, check yourself. Make sure what you're doing is um, grounded in positive energy and that it is grounded in the best intentions and for with the best goal. Um, because it seems like this battle has been going on for a while. Um, and that it, it's been really spirited and you're, you're getting exhausted from it and you're going to need to rest and, and you're not, if you don't take a respite soon, you won't be able to make the right decisions. And, and now looking over at the foundation of, you know, the Four of Cups, it's, you're also emotionally exhausted. Like you, you've been, um, you've been going, you've been, you've been drinking from the cups and you also, you might've been indulging in some, um, habits that are not always healthy for you, which I, I think when you have something, you know, if you have something that you go to like wine, um, smoking, you know, something to disconnect yourself from this world, eating, and it can even be like working out too much. Um, I feel like it's there just to remind you that, you know, you need, sometimes you do need to disconnect to reconnect. But I, I think there's a fine line that you need to take with that. Um, and you're teetering on that right now. So, so take a breather, take a breather, um, so that you can make wise decisions and you have been really working hard and, and it could be paying off financially or you feel like it could be paying off financially, but maybe not as much as you had hoped. And though you are succeeding and though you are on the up and up, um, you feel like you should have gained more from this situation, whether it's through work, relationship, or just a creative project that you're putting out. Um, you, you, it's been successful, but not as successful as you had hoped or liked. Um, and make sure that even though that this is happening, even though you have done something that is working, um, and you wish that it was more, make sure not to, there's like a sneaky feel to all of this too. Um, and in all honesty, Taurus, I feel like the sneakiness could be you, that you're trying to be a, a sticky wicket. You're trying to be a little sneakster, little trickster. Um, and I would also check that energy within yourself. Um, love what you have. Love what you have, because man, Taurus, you're, you're bountiful. You've been working it. You are. No wonder you're tired and you need to take a break. Um, and yeah, I, I just keep seeing the cards and seeing that, you know, this is you, the five of cups. Look at those two beautiful cups behind you. But you are focusing on these three cups that have um, poured over. But there's more behind you. There's more there for you. And then um, here we have the Queen of Wands in the environment, um, which could be a fire sign, Aries, Leo, Sagittarius. Um, and I, I, I feel like once again, like this, this sign here, this, the wands, this fire sign, um, you could have been arguing with but has good intentions for this argument, you know, and you might want to listen to, um, to what they have to say. Um, because what they have to say means something and will help you in the future. Even if you disagree with it, even if you guys are at odds, uh, um, they are there to help you grow into the next phase that you need to go into. So take that in. And a great phrase for that is, okay, um, I hear you. 
I acknowledge you. I may not agree with you, but I respect and I honor where you're coming from. Hello, Taurus. Sorry about that. My computer just decided to take a breather, and I guess it was the universe saying, take a breather too. So we're back. And um, so I was just saying, you know, how to agree to disagree is very important with this um, Queen of Wands. You could learn s numerous things from them, so I, I really feel like this is a good, this is a good person to to listen to, even if you d don't necessarily agree with them. Um, in your environment, we have uh, the Three of Cups, celebration, joy, beautiful women in your life um, coming together to celebrate um, anything and everything, really. Um, it can also be the card of indulgence. Um, so th I said the card in the environment position, but what I meant is what, um, you know, the pros and cons too. Um, so this could be a joyful situation um, that you that you get after almost, you know, having a battle with someone. Um, and But it could also be, you know, this situation where you did battle with them and you both came to a solution, which is wonderful, which is even better than I feel like winning, is when you come to a group solution that solves the issues for everyone involved, it, I think that's a great way of going about it. And Taurus, I mean, you are ruled by Venus, um, so it's so important for you to have that beauty and that love um, within you and surrounding you. And a great way to cultivate that is to bring others into your life, um, even if it's for a con it's conflicting at the beginning. I really feel, Taurus, you have the capacity to turn, you know, mud into the lotus flower. Um, so that's wonderful, and and it seems like in the, you know you could be a messenger. You can be like you could be this page of wands, although it's it's related mostly with the fire sign, um, Aries, Leo, Sagittarius. Um, but you could be um, heralding this in. You could be heralding this person into your life. Um, you know to to create, to light that fire, to light that passion. I mean, fire signs are go-getters. They really make things happen. Um, and to bring that in is is beautiful, Taurus. It's it's wonderful um, to, ha you, know, you know, you are Earth. You are of um, the Earth sign. Um, and so I think that's wonderful to have a grounded, you know, flame. Um, so this is, I think, I think this is wonderful. Um, it, it's hard, yes. You have been um, going back and forth with a situation, with a person, even with yourself. You could be warring at, with yourself, absolutely. Um, and it, and it's time to to come to a decision, or if you can't come to a decision to take a breath, to take a rest, and then revisit it. So let's ask, let's look at the Mother Wisdom deck and ask Mother Moon what advice she has for us. Taurus, what is the advice from Mother Moon? Mother Moon, how would you like to help your lovely Taurians this August of 2016? It seems like they have been um, in a little bit of a battle and are getting tired. But even though they are getting tired, there is a sense of joy and jubilee that, um, at the end of it all, what is, what is your advice for all this? What, what do you think, Mother Moon? What do you think? You know what? Th it's this card right here. Ah! How wonderful. Moon rhythm. Look at that. Isn't that so wonderful? And look at the, I feel like it's like that's, these two cards are very similar. Yes. So celebrate your differences. 
celebrate this. This is what will bind you together. Um, you do not have dueling rhythms. Your rhythms flow together into one. There could be one voice. There could be one drum. There could be, you know, any a, a mirad of um, beautiful rhythms coming together. And and so make a symphony. Make a symphony with with all that you have. It is not just one soul thing. This is a collective. Um, also, the moon changes all the time. I mean, it goes through the entire zodiac within 28 days. You know, it's, it's fast moving. Things shift. So do not get too stuck in just one idea. Flow with it. And then if something else arises, be grateful for that, that it has shifted and it has changed. Um, and, and then take from that what you need and keep growing that way. Your spine is not a rod. Your spine has to move through your body. Um, so live your life that way too. It is strong. Be strong, my Torians, which you already are. Um, but also move with ease. Move with ease. All right. So if you would like a personal reading, feel free to contact me on my website. Just send me a message and we can um, get you all set up for a personal reading. Um, much love, joy, and blessings for all of August 2016. Much, much, much love.